Hello viewers, what is up? I'm Liquid and I have finally some decent gameplay for you. So of course, above the 70 mark because that was my last high scoring streak. So now we're at 85, or I'm sorry, 89, almost 100. It's like so close, I could honestly tell you different points in time that I called out in the game. I was like, okay guys, that was 100 plus right there. Just lost it. And that really sucks to know because I was on a really good spree. I was just destroying the other team and you know basically it made it to where I had it all set up and everything it's just everything had to fall into place well you die one time in a certain I guess kill streak that you could have had a little bit before you get the second one and the third one and you know it makes a big huge difference because the kill streaks on this map you can really destroy the whole entire other team now I will also say that Whenever you're looking at trying to go for high scoring gameplays, hard point is probably not where you want to be. However, I do like it because it just seems like a little bit more the HQ style. And I know a lot of people play HQ that get a lot of kills. I've had a lot of guys saying that they've been 100, 120. So I might get a hold of those gameplays and um, check them out and see what they look like and you know possibly post them for you guys. Now, the big thing though is. This is different calls. At least you get to stay alive while you're capping the base. And that's what makes it a little bit easier to get more kills than I would say HQ. However, Ground War has more people and if you haven't seen a lot of the guys on YouTube, then they have been more or less throwing down 9v9 and getting 100 pluses. So I feel that if I can do this on a 6v6, then that's not too bad. And I know that everyone's going to go ahead and criticize this gameplay because we had one guy spinning around in the circles today and, you know, basically ruined my gameplay. Yes, that is one less dude to shoot at me, but the game before, he was playing against us. He just happened to use rockets only, and he's a David Vonderhaar fanboy. However, that kind of sucks because everyone I know is going to say, wow, make it a little easy for you to get that many kills, you know, have this guy over here do this and, you know, basically have no clue what he's doing and he's just, you know, helping you out. No, nah, he's not helping me out. He, I mean, at least he'll stand on the base and try to cap something, but he definitely was playing distraction. I mean, you know, whenever you play the distraction, you typically do not... I don't know, it's just hard because you have other people you're watching. Now I'll also throw out there, when going for these high kill streaks, some kill streaks are better than others. I would suggest Lodestar of course, the VTOL I would say is good but it's not the greatest because, well, whenever you try to shoot at somebody and you get stuck, you can't quite hit them and it kind of annoys the shit out of you and you know you get distracted by that and it just doesn't really help you out. So with that said, I would suggest maybe the Warthog or the Stealth Chopper or definitely K9s are even a little bit better. But you want to use the kill streaks that are not going to get shot down nearly as easy. Even the Swarm. Swarm is nasty. I have not used the Swarm too, too much. I've used it maybe all three times. Now, with that said, Swarm is high up there on the kill board, so you are risking not being able to get it. The big thing is just get kill streaks that you necessarily don't have to man yourself. So this is not bad. I got a lot of kills with this, but the load star I definitely like a little bit better because it's kind of more on the Reaper side and it tends to kill a lot more people at a time. You don't have to shoot them 30 different times. It's like, okay, one missile right up their ass and they're dead. And that makes it a little easier. Now, it's not as easy to control whenever you're on nine sensitivity. I know everybody's like, holy shit, you cannot aim that. That is true. My sensitivity is kind of up there and that's why I'm a little everywhere with this thing. And I'm trying to get a little bit better. But whenever you go from shooting people and you're, you know, you're okay with your non-sensitivity and then you have to move other things around, it definitely gives you a different feel of a controller. So that's more or less why, wow, I said it there. Oh, that's the first time. I've not said more or less in I don't know how long and I've said it twice in two seconds. Just to kind of point out that I did, I caught myself, boom, what happened? Now, actually everyone's been picking on me for that phrase and it's actually something I do at work whenever I'm selling computers. Everybody's like, yeah, so which processor is better? Well, the Pentium kind of sucks, but it's still not bad. I mean, more or less, you know, you're not getting a lot of speed, but it still is cheaper. And that's kind of how I phrase that. So there's where it comes in at. And it really sucks because whenever you get to saying something once, it comes back 40,000 times for everything else. And it kind of sucks because y'all catch it and y'all call me out on it. And it sounds really stupid, but yeah, we're not going to do that. I really try to catch myself when I'm commentating on a lot of things. It's really hard though whenever you're kind of freeballing all your commentary topics and you're just talking randomly as shit 
that does make it a little bit harder, but it does, you know, tend to work. So whatever works for you, that's the big thing. Now, high killing score classes. That's another thing I wanted to kind of, you know, throw out your way, because I know not only am I talking about the kill or the score streaks, I always want to say kill streaks, but the score streaks, you know, you got to get just right. Your class, you got to get just right. I am more of a preferred, I don't know, I like my shark charges, but they are kind of overused just a little bit. I do like a suppressor, and I do like ghost. And the main thing is that you don't have to worry about your team sucking, because if your team sucks, then they're going to have UAVs, and they're going to be able to find you, and they're going to be able to kill you. And here's where I got distracted and chased the little kid a little too much, and this is where the 100 plus got lost, because I feel like I would have kept on that kill streak. Then I would have kept on, and I would have freaking got a hundred plus on that. And of course, Doggy wants to come up here and be here while I'm doing my commentary. Apparently, hey buddy. Um, but you know, I guess it's just a matter of differences of you know thoughts. I think that if I would have had it right there, then yeah, I would have had my, I would have had it. Yeah, that right there. That would have been my hundred plus. Eleven more kills. That's all I needed. And one more load start, that would have been game over, ball game, let's move on. Thank you, senorita, I have 100 plus. But it doesn't really happen, and my dog really threw me off because, yeah, he just came up here and now he just went away, and it really confused me what to do. Okay, getting back to it. So suppressor, ghost, do that. I really do like the laser sight. FMJ is not bad if you want to wallbang the shit out of some people. It really does help in that sense because... There's a lot of maps you really can wallbang really heavily, and you have to shoot like a whole entire clip and maybe another clip just to kill somebody through a wall. That's where it comes in that if you have FMJ, at least you can kill them in a few less bullets through the wall. So think about that. Not bad, but you know, all the other classes, scavenger is definitely needed. So that's another thing. I thought about not prestiging anymore just so I can go for these high gameplays that everybody wants to see. And obviously, I'm not getting a prestige, but at least I'm getting some cool gameplays that everyone is like, oh, yeah, once you go 100 plus, once you go 120 plus. And it is a little harder to do so if you're having a prestige and you have to worry about getting all your guns and all your classes and everything again because there's one particularly, I guess, um, perfect class for everyone. I feel my PDW is my best, and I feel like it is really awesome because well a you have 50 uh 50 bullets in your first mag i mean obviously that's a shit ton of bullets you don't need extended mags on it quick draw and fast uh not fast hands um quick mag is also really good because at least you can reload a little bit faster and you know you can aim in a little bit faster which you're not really needing to whenever you're running lightweight anyway so that's just some other things to think about if you have lightweight don't worry about running quick draw because i know a lot of people still will do it no matter what but it's not going to help you either way you look at it. And a lot of guys you'll see actually using this gun. And I really actually love it because I just got it gold not too long after this game. And, well, when you get a gold gun, it kind of has a special bond with you just because you're like, oh, yes, I got my gold gun. I'm ready to make it diamond. And I'm so close to getting the diamond camos of my SMGs. So close. So, anyways, well... I hope you enjoyed this game. I know it's kind of early for me to kind of start talking about ending the video, but I'm pretty much going to let you watch the final kill streaks and everything and kind of end there. But if you have any questions or concerns or just feedback in general, go to the very, very bottom comment section and leave me a message and I will check it out. And pretty much if you have. Any awesome gameplays, send them to me. I might be throwing up some other people's. I know a lot of people don't want me to do that, but hey, you know, if you don't have a proper way to show it off, hey, I'll show it off for you. And anyways, viewers, make sure you like and subscribe, and until next time, I'm Liquid, and I'm out.